It's no secret that there are many different things unique about New Mexico that also include the Spanish language. A new project is underway to preserve that historical way of speaking that particular dialect. News 13's Carla Sosa gives us some insight into the major undertaking. For anyone with knowledge of the Spanish language, you'll know you've come across a very unique version of it if you hear it spoken in northern New Mexico, but it's in danger of being lost. The focus of this project is to be able to identify, archive, and protect the spoken Spanish language of over 400 years old till present. In the last three months, a group headed by Zachary Quintero, the acting director of the National Hispanic Cultural Center, has started the Legacy Project to save the special dialect. The recent archives that have been you know, published by different parts of, of national newspapers saying that specific form of Spanish language spoken in rural northern New Mexico in particular is set to be extinct in 18 and a half years. To save the language, the group is asking community members to donate materials that could help them demonstrate how long the form has been in use. Just last week, the center received a historic document that dates back to the 1800s. That document is from 1841. And just to put that into context, statehood for New Mexico being 1912. Before that, the Gadsden Purchase, before that, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. This is a document that existed in that formal setting of Spanish before any of that took place. Quintero says having a document like this will help in the preservation efforts. The work of the project will be carried out in three stages, the first of which is traveling to different parts of the state to gather examples and conduct family interviews. It takes a lot of trust, as, you, as we all know as New Mexicans. Um, you know, we want to make sure we do this first and foremost from a point of respect and gratitude and humility with our, our fellow gente and New Mexicans here. The final stage of the project will include publishing the group's findings, which will be available to the public at the NHCC. For us to be able to have access to that and to be able to study it and to preserve it here and to protect it here is exactly what the center is designed to do. In the meantime, it's a race against the clock, as some experts believe the dialect could become extinct in about 18 years. And the total work of the project slated to be complete in three. Carla Sosa, KRQE News 13. The NHCC hopes to have their first public presentation by next year. If you would like to donate to the project, we have a link to that information at alwaysonkrqe.com.